Hey, you got Trucker Tim here with Double T Sports. <clears throat> Sorry it gets so late here. Uh, got the packs here, but most of all, the Bible. I've been reading a little bit here. Uh, I have to ask the Lord sometimes to give me a verse. Um, yesterday my wife was gave me a verse. Uh, Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. And then where I was reading, um, but ye, it's verse 9 up here, but ye are not in the flesh but in the Spirit. If so it be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. When I was drugging and drinking and, and, and partying, and I didn't think nothing of the Bible. I didn't think of nothing of church. And things happened to me. Things didn't go so well at times. Oh, I thought, oh man, things are great partying. Yeah, all good times. But you know, now that I'm saved, and I do the best I can. I don't say I try to do the best I can. Um, we are in the flesh. And I've, I've got the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ in me. Things go better. My life is better. Um, that kind of spirit moved that rock that they put Jesus in. When they put Jesus up on that cross and crucified Jesus, then put him in that tomb and put that big old rock over who can move that who can move that big old stone nobody but jesus and if you got that kind of spirit in you you can move any stone you can move any mountain you got in the you got that spirit in you you can do about anything ask god for anything ask jesus for anything and you will receive it there is nothing too big nothing if you want a mansion ask him for a mansion ask in jesus name and you shall receive that's a fact you want a car ask in jesus name and believe you'll get it you'll get it you got to believe with all your heart though with all your mind can't just be a little bit here saying, well, yep, I'm going to get a car, but, ain't no but, you got to fully believe, you got to fully believe, it's like, I'll give you an example, since this is kind of the card community, and some other people watch too, which is great, see, you open up these packs here, you want to say, yep, I want to hit, I want to hit that I can sell, you got to believe it. And that hit will show up. Asking Jesus, and I said, God, I'm asking the Lord. Uh, and a matter of fact, I'm going to start praying before I start um, with y'all. I'm going to start praying a little bit before I start these, this little verse in, in packs. I don't even have to worry about the packs. The verse is what I want to do. Um, it helps me so much. And I see through the comments that it helps y'all. But if you got all that spirit in the world, you can move that stone. You can move mountains. If you don't want that mountain in your way, and you got the belief that ask in Jesus' name, the Lord will move that mountain for you. I mean, that's true. That's true fact. You've got the spirit of the Lord in you. It says it right. you got the spirit of the Lord in you. You can do anything. Anything. 
that's spiritual. Anything that's, uh, if you need to speak, if you need to talk to somebody, or if you need to have a conversation, ask the Lord to give you the words to speak through you. And you know, I was talking to my, my wife about this the other day. Your parents didn't plan on having you. The Lord did. They just use your mom. Your mom is just a vessel. Uh, the Lord planned on your birth. Your parents didn't. I mean, you know what I mean. The, the Lord planned this years before y'all even thought about having a child. Uh, like I said, your, your, your wife or your mom was just the vessel to pass through the children, his children. He, we are his children. We, he get, he, like my mom. My mom was just a vessel. He knew I was going to come out and I was going to be on this journey way before she did. Way before her and my dad planned it. Um, so, he had it planned. My mom and them did, did. I mean, they planned it at the time. But they, God planned it for them. I guess to have, be in that situation to uh, uh, to have you, um, and, and like I said, you were just passing through. You're passing through your mom um, to get in this world and be on your journey. Um, like I said, they're just a vessel to get out here, and you're on a journey, and. Uh, God gave you the spirit in you and he gave you free will and if you didn't keep that spirit when you were younger and you chose to go on a different path well that's on that's your will that's your free will but if you ask up for God's will he's gonna want you to follow his path the path of mercy and grace and there's nothing like that feeling of mercy and grace oh golly Things go so much better in this life when you when, when you feel that mercy and grace. I'd be going down the road singing because I am who I am. Man didn't make me. Uh, there's a song by uh, uh, Third Day. I think it's Third Day, yeah. I was listening to it a while ago. Anyway, I am who I am. Man didn't make me. God made me. God uh, put me on this earth and wanted me to do certain things, and that's who I am. Um, I am who I am, and I am a fallible child of God, and I'm not ashamed of it. Because if you're ashamed of it down here, you're going to be ashamed of it up He's going to be ashamed of you up there. Probably not. But, you know, I mean, why be ashamed of him down here? Speak it to the world. Speak it out loud that you love the Lord. I do. I'll speak it out into a crowd of a million people. I, hey, I love the Lord Jesus Christ. God put me on this earth, and I am willing to tell all you million people, if you don't serve the Lord, if you don't get saved, I feel for you. I'm not going to judge you and say you're going to hell, but the Bible says you will. Uh, I don't know, but I know for me, if I don't serve the Lord, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell, and I don't want to go to hell. I ain't scared of it, but I'm, uh, I'm scared of not being with Him. I'm scared of not being with the Lord. That's what I'm scared of. I don't have to be scared. I don't have to be scared because... He's going to guide me as long as I stick with him. That's all I got to do. All right. Peace and love. Whoop, whoop. Let's open some cards. I love this new series I got. Let me shout out. Uh, what is that? Bum Luck Collectors. Good guy. I've been on his channel. He's funny. He's got a good channel. Y'all sub him up. Go check his channel out. Bum Luck. I'll try to. I'm not good at. Uh, putting stuff in the description I need to do that ahead of time get the script somehow figure that out but it's with my tablet I'm on the go so I can tell you bum luck 
Um, there's some others uh, I would like for you to check out. Uh, um, B and D, or is it D and B? Um, co uh, collectors, y'all check them out. Um, but I want to shout out Bomb Lucky. I uh, checked his channel. He's so funny. What a good channel. What a good guy. Um, y'all check his channel out. Probably most of y'all have. Uh, he's really good. Y'all remember when I pulled that? <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm trying to get my mystery packs together. I was watching some mystery packs opened up last night. Oh my goodness, the devil started getting to me like, your pack mystery packs are not good enough. You, I mean, because they're selling theirs for 25 and they got all these killer cards. Uh, I'm making my mystery packs good. And if y'all love them, then I, I love them too. Uh, can't let that devil get to me. He's going to think I got the sorriest mystery packs in the world. Uh, oh, you should charge $10 for all the, for the old measly cards you're putting in. Man, he had me so mixed up. I was ready to pull over on the side of the road, go through my cards and see if I, because I've got two mystery packs already made up. I was ready to go in there and redo that in two mystery packs, which I'm going to add to them anyway, because I looked back at my first one. I don't like the way it is. The second one's good, but I need to top load them. I want them all top loaded. Um, I'm putting vintage in there. I'm putting like a pack of 1990, like I showed 1990s football and baseball pack, like a certain pack in there where y'all could hit a special card in it. I was like, oh man, devil, get away, you son of a gun. Uh, banished out of my truck, you're banished out of my mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, get away from me. I was getting tired. The devil likes to get to you when you're tired, when you're lonely, when you're down and out. He, he wants to get to you. He feeds on that like chickens going. Uh, when you throw out that grain for the chickens to eat, he's like that. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. I'm like, go away. You scoundrel, you're a liar. I'm good. I am with the Lord. The Lord is nothing but good. The Lord is love. Nothing on this world, nothing on this earth happens by accident and nothing bad is, is, is the Lord. Bad is the devil. I mean, when fires, earth, uh, fires, uh, tornadoes, that's not God. That's not God. That's Mother Nature. It happens. That's part of will. The will of this earth. Uh, uh, somebody passes away. Somebody shoots another human being. That's not God. That's not... If you see that as bad, that's not God. And God don't stop it because of the will. Our will. That's a big thing. Alright, let's open some packs here. And don't let the devil get to you. That devil gets to you. You ask and it name of Jesus Christ for him to get away because he will beat you down quick. Oh, scoundrel. Liar. Yeah, talk bad about him. That's one thing the Lord don't care. Talk bad about the devil. It don't matter. It don't matter to talk bad about him. We don't want to talk bad about him. We can judge the devil. He's a scoundrel. He's a liar. The Lord is all good and love. I'm telling you, love. He's done so much for me and I don't deserve it. Mm. I make good money. I have a good family. I have a good grandson, wonderful wife. And I don't deserve it at all. I did him wrong for so many years, but I was on a journey. He still got me on this journey. Let's see what we got here. My new glasses on. All right. Let's hit it. Let's have a hit here, good Lord. What do we got? It's all good hits. Just being able to hold them in my hand to be able to buy cards is good. 
What we got here? Kiebert Ruiz. Rookie. We got Zach Collins. Eric Sogard. Oh, it's hot in here. Started raising my blood pressure. Daniel Lynch. Getting ready to make that face. He's throwing that ball. Boy. We got uh, Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro. Got Travis. Boy, I can't see it, man. Blanking ship. Blanking. Blanking horn. Rookie. Uh, why can I not read these names today? Well, y'all read them. There you go. Y'all read them. David Phelps. We got uh, Tatis, powerful pair. Tatis and Jake Corn Cronenworth. I'll sleeve up those. That's pretty cool. Pete Alonzo. The old look. Man, what is this old look card here? I know it's an older look. Uh, I need to get me a little bit more powerful glasses. I like that older look there. Been seeing a lot of Pete Alonzo lately. Hey, look here. Shaw Racing. Jeff, there you go, buddy. Shout out to Jeff. Nate Lowe. Kyle Funkenhauser, rookie. We got the Toronto Ross Strip. Uh, is that Ross Stripling? And we got John. Birdie. Okay. There are rookies. There's something that I want to slave that looks nice. Alright. I'm going to go live after a while. I'm going to turn my phone around. I'm going to go live going down the road. Y'all hop in and look. Jackie Bradley. We got a rookie of Tyler Tremell. Sam Huff, rookie debut, 9 11 2020. Whoop, whoop. Rookie debut of Luis Garcia. Not here. Darian Huff. Uh, Jim Parsons. Let's get through this. Mark. We got uh, George Gutsman, rookie. We got the Braves. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all like the Braves? World champions, Greg Maddox. Whoever uh, collects these, I saw somebody. Who was that that collects them? I left him a message. Somebody collects the 86. Who was that? Was that Adam's card closet? Y'all check him out. Sub him up. I think he does. I don't know. 
Here's Aaron Judge, my boy. Um, Stephen Duggar. Uh, Chris Archer. Oh, uh, we got. Ronald Torres. Man, this looks like a short print. I don't know. It's over 300. The name's in red. I don't know. We're at 20 minutes today. I did some preaching today. Woo! That ain't no rookie. I don't know, man. If it's a short print, I'll go back to it. I'll put it over here. I don't know. It's the rookie piles over there. And then we got Ricky debut, debut, my hit, Clark Schmidt. Boom. Y'all have a wonderful night. Like Adam says, y'all have a chipper night, okay? Have a chipper evening. And God loves you, so do I. Tell somebody they, that God loves them and you love them. And uh, let's have a wonderful evening. Y'all leave a comment, hit the thumbs up. Share it out, subscribe, and uh, my email, PayPal, and Cash App will be down in the description. All donations go back in the channel um, for more cards to be donated for this or maybe a live break. Uh, I don't go taking in anybody's money that they give me um, and, and blow it on myself. So, y'all have a wonderful evening. I got 480 something miles to do. Trucking up. Whoop, whoop. God loves you. Don't forget that.